Hello, hello everyone. Welcome or welcome back to Dragon Quest V. Uh, last time, two nights ago, I uh, managed to get to Ryuka's home. I became a king, who's Bianca. I oh, have two kids. I get stoned for, uh, I don't know, eight years? Let's see, what else can I sell? Um, do I still have that? Yes. How much money do I have? 7,000? Ah, oh, neat. Just a little bit more. Um... enough but it's something do, 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 do. oh he also has a morning star Let me sell one of the magic shields, right? Hmm, hold on. What level are the kids? Like five, right? Alright, I'm gonna get rid of the... Just put it in the bag. That item looks nice.
Okay. Everyone here in the castle is really kind, and yet, I still always felt a bit lonely. King Ryuka, back after 8 long years. It's such good news, I could... Don't worry, your majesty. Queen Bianca is alive. Just like Queen Mada is, I'm sure of it. And when they're both rescued, a new path will present itself to you. A new way forward. What is our books? Hello, I'm Tupins. It has been my dream to be a castle guard since I was a little boy, you know. Now it's my dream to accompany the King of Goda on a mission somewhere, you know, to see a bit of swashbuckling action and all that. I used to say I hope the world's a more peaceful place by the time my little boy grows up. But do you know what my little angel said to me? He said, there's no point waiting for peace because it might never come. We have to make our own peace, he said. I just burst into tears like that. I'd like to see the piece I've been hoping for all these years. I mean... You never know. The door is locked. And it doesn't look like any of the keys in the party's possession will open. party planning place. If you want to pick up new members for your party, this is the place to be. Same goes if you want to ditch a party member for that matter. Oh. Because I have too many... Um... Wait. <laughs> I can't get rid of him because he's a monster, isn't it? Alright, um... Where do I find the... Monster dude? I know they put one in this castle, I don't know what it is though. Somewhere... Over on this side. Oh, maybe... 
this way. Hmm. It's on this floor. See what's here. That's just outside. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know where they are. Hmm. Is it the old man? Oh, it is. Okay. Okay. Just took a little bit to figure it out. Also, me. I gotta be outside, outside. Let me use my old group for a bit until the kids level up. For more than for more years than I can remember now, trying to create more of the ink this church has so long been renowned for. I put the special ink mixture into the tusk of the ivory tusk tusk. I left it to mature over several years, and finally, finally last night it was ready. Oh, I want to share this joy with everyone. I mean. Would you like to have some of the finished product? Yeah, but it's yours. Don't go wasting it though, will you? I didn't mean to go up there, but it was a fair while back now that some soldiers came here from the kingdom of Goda. They said something about being a hunt for the missing king. I wonder if they found him. I do hope so. The best days for Goda were when Pankras was king. In all my years in this world, I don't think I've ever met a more solid character than him. This is it. Do, 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 do. do I have to have him in a group? Ah, he goes in anyway.
Welcome to my kingdom on Cleopatra, Queen of the Desert. Ah yes, you are no stranger to Helmunapra. We, we entertained you once before, Yuka. A thousand memories of you have filled my thoughts since that time. And but a few sunrises ago, I witnessed a divine revelation. The day of the legendary hero's coming is almost upon us. Is this your son, Ryuka? Yes. Yes. I was sure that it was. How, f how fast the sand of time built a fountain. What is his name? Ah, Ryu, I see. I sense a power in your son, a mighty power stronger than the searing heat of the moon desert. Please bring him with you and follow me. This way. The shrine is home to Zenithian Helm, a great treasure my kingdom inherited from our forefathers. The legendary hero alone can wear it. So Ryu, please try it on. Oh, I got it. Okay, he passes on to Ryu. Ryu tries it on. But the helm is too large and doesn't fit well. But then, it starts to shrink. Amazing. The Zenidian helm is now the perfect size for Ryu's head. And so it must be. Legendary hero is here at last. Oh great one, the world needs you. Only you can fight the plague of darkness that curses us. So, let us return. I must tell my people the happy news. Greetings, a great one, Ryu. Your youth is no importance, but it is written in the stars that you are the legendary hero. Only you can fight the plague of darkness that curses the world. There is nothing more we can do to help you. But we will pray for your victory. Almighty Goddess of the Heavens, a thousand blessings on these brave warriors for peace. Queen Cleopatra has told us the news. We celebrate your coming, O Great One. Queen Cleopatra foretells a new destiny. The coming of the legendary hero will be saving the world. Oh, well, it's open. What am I stuck on? Oh, the table. I thought it was a rug. <laughs> Have you heard the news? The legendary hero has come. People say he's a boy. A handsome boy. Oh no. You're... You're not the legendary hero, are you? Ah. It's him. It's him. Ah. You're the legendary hero? Then you can come back and ask for my hand in marriage one day. What a young child to be taxed with such a heavy burden. You must be careful. Stay by your father's side and let him protect you. 
Whoops. Alright, just a second. Sorry about that. Just a little bit sick. Um. Let me see that. Well, I'm looking at the map. All right. Except, I don't remember what it's called. Oh, knickknack. Mm. Trying to get some levels for the kids, especially. It would be nice to get, um, what was that? Paint song. I didn't stream last night because I was out of town, but I feel like I forgot everything.
I don't want to grind forever though. Um, I'll do a little bit. I like get them to level 10 maybe. What are they now? Six. to switch yeah I do I think I saw the Metal King slime. Was it Metal King slime? I don't know. I think it was in a tower. Was actually good XP. Ooh, and he got zinc. for the kids. It's a storyteller. Reveals which level of a building or dungeon the user is currently on. Hmm. How is that useful?
I'm gonna go with just single target this time. Yeah, much better than when I was trying to uh, stop it. Okay, one more level for them, and then I'll move on. I'd like to get them to higher level, but I, uh, we just get the levels naturally. For some reason I was going to the right but it was going to the left on the screen. Yeah, I don't know why it doesn't. I've been kind of grinding the hands in Dragon Quest 11 in uh, the Draconian Quest. Okay, this guy crits.
There's gonna be a lot of XP. Should I keep this battle going, you know? to start killing them because uh, they might have mana for healing. Can do... Yeah, one more heal. Can you heal? No. Too bad. But I should get the level ten that I want. To. That's it. Dang, that was horrible. It was a terrible guess. up somewhere actually is there a safe point at the hmm. yeah let's go I should have gone to the scene of place. The end. Yeah, that's exactly why I should have gone. I'm not familiar with this place yet. on second floor then. What? Uh. Oh. Oh, here we go. Make a save. Yeah, I'm stuck.
Oops. Can you look back once in a while and make sure I'm still with you, Dad? I'm worried I might get lost. We got Sancho. Oh, move. This place is cool. Is it a path? Is it a wall? You can tell. It's like a maze. This place has a sort of a magical air to it, I think. This place is loco. First, you see a wall, but then is a path. Then you see a path, but is a dead end. <laughs> hmm? Oh, it's you, Ryuka. I knew you'd be back one day. I've been waiting for you. I finally managed to revive another ancient spell. It's a bit of a bit of an awkward one, but I'm sure you'll be able to make it work. Ah, now then. Listen carefully. The spell is called Hocus Pocus. If you use this spell during battle, something very interesting will happen. Thing is, I'm not sure what. So you'd better be a little bit careful about when you use it. I'm feeling a bit worn out now, I'm afraid. I should know who you, you folk are. I didn't do all my research into ancient spells for nothing, you know. I just hope it will be some use to you. Did he get it? How do I know I have it? I didn't get it. Hmm. Now let's go to... Oh man... Oh here we go. So you know your charge. I want a strict watch kept at night and day. And if anything happens, don't hang out. Don't hang them out fishing. Ah, I can't read. And if anything happens, don't hang hang about finishing your cappuccino before you report back to me. Capish? I need to go there. Excuse me. Okay, got another level. Oops, I nodded up again. That'll never do. Hmm? Oh heavens above, it's you Ryuka. Where in the world have you been all these years, my old friend? Good grief, you were turned into stone? Well, of all things. 
Talk about bad luck, huh? There's no need to discuss Bianca. I know you'll rescue her. I trust you, see Ryuka. By the way, are these kitties by any chance? Yeah, I knew it. So they're yours and Bianca's, huh? Yeah, I can see it actually. They look like they look just like the two of you when you were little. And a bit like me, oddly enough. It sounds like things have been far from easy up to now, but they're growing up wonderfully. You know, it must be eight years now since you and Bianca disappeared, Ryuka. It makes me feel ever so old. I don't imagine there's much of an old man like me can do. But if there's anything at all you can think of, just let me know. I'll be praying that you're all safe. And my dear wife in heaven will be too, of course. Oh, such a hard work learning how to run in. All the luck being born son of an innkeeper. Let me check. Have I been here? I don't actually know. I knew that old friend of Bianca's. Ain't you? Don't you go putting her in any danger, do you hear? Else you'll have to answer to. You'll have me to answer to. Have we been here? Nope. And I got a ticket. Hope it's not a speeding ticket. Strike a light. You went and found me. But that don't mean you're getting the treasure I mapped. Oh, I'm getting it, alright. Oh, snap. <laughs> I don't have the right group. Bank. I don't have my right group. I'll get you for this one one of these days. I think she's too young for that. Oh, they weren't. So, anything?
Is there two pairs of spiked armor? Dang. Oh, no way, that's two magic shields. <laughs> I was about to say. I don't know if I should sell that. What a grand looking castle, but the people live outside the castle walls? Do you think that's safe? I know about Goberg. Goberg and Goda have always been good friends, haven't they? You and Prince Harry used to travel about together, didn't you? I wish I could have come along with you. Let me see. Protection against fire and ice magic. Yeah, I think I might. Proceed. This is Goldberg Castle. Wait a minute. You're that friend of Prince Harry's. It's Ryuka, isn't it? Go on through. Let's see Harry what he says. But yo, you got kids. I don't have any kids. My research tells me about somewhere in the world there's, there still exists a cape that was worn long ago by a brave knight in battle. When a special person uses special armor like that, it enables, it enables them to achieve their true potential. I heard the news about you becoming king of Goda, Ryuka. I'm sure you'd have what it takes to make good use of the cape if you could find it. It's you, Ryuka. Or should I say King Ryuka? I was terribly worried when I heard you disappeared, King Ryuka. It was such a relief to hear you return to Goda, safe and sound. I hoped. Excuse me. I hoped you'd be paying a visit here in Coburg again before long. You make yourself at home, wouldn't you? These are the quarters of Prince Harry and his wife. And invited guests are... Oh, I beg your pardon. I didn't recognize you for a minute. You go on through. Oh, he does have a kid himself. Hey, who are you? Kendrick. You mustn't address guests like that. What do you want? I have a cat. Oh, uh, hello, Urban. How you doing? Oh my god, it was like so long ago. But I was so into the game. I do beg your pardon. I'm afraid my son's manners are a bit lacked. Oh, 
Good heavens, it's here, Ryuka. I've been hoping you'd pay a visit. Can't tell you how thrilled we are to hear you turned up in Goda in one piece. You did have a rotten bit of luck there, huh? In fact, you've always seemed to be a bit jinxed, come to think of it. Still, it's great to see you here again, safe and well. Oh yes, I'm a father now, by the way. This is my son, Kendrick. Back up, Kendrick. Read Ryuka properly and don't be so rude. Ouch, well, pleased to meet you. Sorry about him. He's a bit of a cheeky one at times. You've got, chin you've got children now too, haven't you? Ah, I see. We're traveling as a family. Hello there. Yes. I can see the resemblance to how you looked at that age. I know. Why don't, why don't two children play together for a while? Kendrick, can you show? Kendrick can show you around. Kendrick, why don't you be a good host and give your best guide a tour of the castle? I suppose I could. Hope you're having a nice Friday if you're still here. Urban. That's good, but now we'll have a bit of peace and quiet for a while. Listen to you. You know you adore that boy, really. Huh. You got me there, Maria. I don't know who Kendrick takes after sometimes, though. I'm sure I wasn't such a troublemaker when I was his age. <laughs> Sounds like your travels travels are just as trying as ever, Ryuka. I'm sure you'll be able to guide the world in the right direction towards peace, though. Yeah. Is he trying to make my kids into wackies? Dad, Dad, Hendrick's gone missing. He told us to go and get some kind of lackey's badge, and then he disappeared while we were looking in the treasure chest. Can you come and help us find him? Rika moves the chair aside and searches underneath it. There's a secret staircase leading down. Hey! What a weird place for a flight of stairs. You're amazing, Dad. Good thing knowing they were there. Huh? You found the stairs already? That was no fun. I bet you didn't find the lackey's badge, though. That means you can't be my lackey. Hmm? Prince Kendrick, I do hope you're not causing trouble down here again. What's your problem? I'm not doing anything wrong. Your father will be most displeased when he hears about this. Now, come along. Strike a light. You went and found me. But that don't mean you're getting the treasure I met.
I need to move my chat. Huh. I'll get you for this one. For this one of these days. Um, that's cursed armor though, isn't it? Is that green now? Oops. She used to sleep in that room. Maybe she died? Yeah, she was moved here, but I don't know where she's at now. Let's move on. Hold on. Let me see what they say. Sorry about before. That said, I had to apologize, so I decided to give you this. Hermine's hat. Make sure you put it to good use, okay? Sorry Kendrick, cost you a bit of bother there, Ryuka. You can find me here all the time, by the way, so do drop in whenever you pass it. And do try not to go missing again, huh? Uh, who did he give it to them? You don't need to worry about a thing that will always be along to help you out. Ah, can do one to from upstairs.
Oh, it was good. I did have to do some family business stuff. Oh, yesterday, that's why I didn't stream. I don't know why I had to go, since I didn't do anything. But pretty much lost a day and a half. <laughs> but what am I supposed to do? I can't really say no or I'm gonna be like get the breath of God. But yeah, I was supposed to go help. But all I've ended up is spray paint door for five minutes. Like a tiny um, you know, under the house door. Like, what? Uh, not to mention, that there's still no power at that house. So, I was sleeping. Uh, luckily, it wasn't cold, it was like 60 at night. But, uh, you know, to sleep without any kind of uh, power. Under a blanket in the middle of nowhere. Bored. Just stuff like that. What about your week? Was it good? I hope you're feeling better. I know you've cancelled stream, but I didn't read the whole message. I know you said you were tired, I think, um, Wednesday. Might have been Monday. Maybe both. I'm like, where's Arma? Oh, I better check. Oh yeah, because I only look at the dates, if they are missing or not. Get your dragon yet? I meant to look at the trailer, but I didn't. I didn't have time. See if I can get a twin metal slime down here. Like a first hour, what? It's cheating. I have to go through like a big quest to get a flying dragon. I actually never liked any other dragons. Has the original Nether Drakes. 
I'm sure they have some cool ones. But I never got any. No, that's not true. I got some. I only use that one. I didn't like the. Is it. Witch King, Dragons, normal ones. I had a nice video uh, of me flying around. Um, is it Nether Storm? I can't remember the name. Whatever the Illidan Castle is, Black Citadel. Yeah. Yes, there we go. I had a nice video that I made back then, timed to some Iron, Iron Man movie stuff when he goes for the flight, like for the first time or something. And I put that video on Vimeo and I never made a backup. And then Vimeo was getting rid of all the gaming content, so it got deleted. And then Vimeo was like, oh, gamers, you can come back. And you can fuck off. I mean, I should have made a backup, but still. Where am I going? Trying to go up. I don't know why I'm doing this. But yeah, I'm trying to level the kids a little bit. Just a little bit. There was the, the dark stormy one, wasn't it somewhere near Magrand? I don't know. Oh, I know I was farming those nether... I don't know what they were called. <laughs> nether something. There's a chance to get a liquid metal slime. Would have been great if it showed up. Would be a lot of XP. But yeah, I haven't played anything yesterday at all. But the boring game. Nice help already. Would 
Which one was calling me to sleep? Was it them? Yeah, the boy has good damage. It's not the damage I'm worrying about. And it's the defense at the moment, but... Levels. I got my karate gimmicks. Religious message. Join us in following Armorverse. <laughs> I can kill it. Let me try something. Um,
equips. Alright, I'm going to continue now. I was going to go back and see if I can get that with that metal sword, but I'm just going to move on with the game. Uh, shouldn't the boat Probably north of the town. I've missed it. Yeah, my bad. Oh boy. I always, I always wanted to go on an adventure with you, Dad. This is like a dream come true. Wow. Where did you get that map, Dad? It's the most amazing map I've ever seen. Ah, oh, thanks. I drew it myself. If we had that, we probably could have saved you a bit sooner. You named me. You named me, didn't you, Dad? I love the name, Ryo. It's cool. Thanks. Could have got one of those uh, advent calendar whiskey things or rum or bourbon or whatever. Could have drink one every hour on the stream.
like this little... Is it a church? This is nice to see you living and breathing again. Again, that I like the statue you were all those years. It's because of your wonderful children that you are back to normal now. You must show them, you must shower them with face later, friend. I thought long and hard about how to f first greet you when I find you that. I hope, I hope I made a good job of it. Okay. Georgie. Oh, my poor Georgie. Georgie's like... Nine, maybe? Eight? Probably a slave. Oh, if I only knew where my dear boy Georgie was. Ever since he was taken, it says if a light has gone out and our family has been plunged into darkness. I mean, I know where he's at. I don't think he can get there, though. Unless you want to be a slave, too. For Mr. and Mrs. Porgy. I've both been awfully depressed ever since little Georgie was snatched away. Oh, what a terrible, terrible affair. If only someone would rescue Georgie and bring him home to them. He's already 17 and she's just hitting 16. I thought they were the same age. Ooh, oof. I haven't been here, that's for sure. Also looks nice. Nothing. Like this little house. Cabin. I say, old stick. Are you in the known? No? No? Rumor has it. There's a helmet somewhere in the world known as a sun crown. Apparently it can 
keep you safe from kamikaze attacks. You believe? What can I do with the diamond? I have three of them now. going to cast a sword, cast iron. <laughs> I don't think I'll be able to finish it over the weekend. That was the plan, but... boat again. Well, I was on the boat. It's pitch black, but you can still see the waves glistening. How pretty. You think someone made this, or do you think it's natural? It's amazing that you think that. You can hear the waves coming crashing in. What a sound. and hit the mic.
Oh no, not the necromancers. Let me douchebags in Dark Souls. Right. Oh, there's something here. A treasure. It's a cursed item. No tildos. Oh boy, you gotta sneeze.
Uh, why was I attacking them? Oh, so dumb. Yeah, I should have gone after him. I don't know why I didn't. Ouch, that poison. Nip it in the bud. They do so much damage. He was. I thought he got anti magic too. She missed two battles.
That was much better. All right. Let's what? That's a dead end. Oh my god, so many battles in here. Oh my god. Get through this. Oh, and you. Take death. So it doesn't count as spell. But they block them. At least we're still able to cast it. Should've gone with fire, but the guy that is fire has no mana. This is locked, okay.
let me out. Hey, welcome to Lofty Peak, Monset Park. This is the home of the Forgotten Ones, those who the world no longer knows. Do you know about the flying carpet? I heard it's here around Lofty Peak somewhere. That makes traveling, it make a traveling a cinch, wouldn't it? I mean, you could just glide over plains and lakes and almost anything. Have you heard the legend of the mysterious tower? The tower that's said to reach all the way up to the heavens. He who climbs to, the, to its peaks comes face to face with the god of Venetia himself. Is he a dragon? What? It saved at 20 hours exactly? Much time has passed since travelers last set foot in our village. Let me guide you travelers. You have come here perhaps in the hope of discovering truth and reason. Then it is the four elders of Lofty Peak you seek. They will enlighten you. Okay. Jump over and get the treasure.
shoot, should I? Th should I? <laughs> that was 10,000 gold. I'm not sure if I have sold that. I didn't get the stuff when I dismissed them. I should, hmm. Is when I dismissed the monsters, they didn't give me their stuff. But they, I thought that's what happens. How many months ago must it be now, I wonder? There was another traveler who, like you, stumbled across our village. Lost he was. He ended up falling in love with a young woman here. And the two of them left together. The young woman was called Magdalena. And if my memory serves me correctly, the young man was called Pancras. And it's my dad. I was against it from the start. I didn't agree with one of our own being married to an outsider. Any medal? I get that thing. Mean our Madalena. You're a rel relative of hers? Yeah. In that case, you should have the magic carpet and a key. So far here in Lofty Peak. You must find them. And you must save Madalena. It is your destiny. We rely on you to fulfill it. What? Why did I say yes? The will of our leader. Our great leader and monarch, wiser than wisdom itself, and deity born amongst lowly disciples. Alas, the darkness did swallow him up before he could impart his many teachings to us. Yet, his will is everlasting. Even now he waits, where no sun shall ever shine, but a great one to arrive, the one true hero. <clears throat> I once worked as a craftsman in Gouda. You know, my skills were well known. 
but I left Goda to follow King Punkras. Alas, the hand of evil had already... No, I still cannot believe it. I refuse to believe King Punkras is gone. I cannot depart from this hope that if I wait here long enough, he will come back, together with Queen Madalena. Oh. Could that be a Wilbur Bluestone you have there? I see. Yes. King Pancras stayed at Wilbrook for a period, did he not? Would you... Would you like me to cut that stone and polish it for you? Yeah. Well, I can hardly refuse a request from King Pancras' own son. Now can I? Leave it with me, and I shall transform it into something of true beauty. Yes, I will work on it tonight. Perhaps you could stay at the inn. Excuse me. Perhaps you could stay at the inn and come back and find me tomorrow. Madalena belong to us. She was a Loftinian, but the strong power of magic within her was the curse. Because of this, the monsters took her. Oh, Madalena, where are you now? This better be the flying car pad. Whoops, I'm holding the wrong button. Ooh, magic key. Nice. Should open all the blue doors. We of Lofty Peak are the chosen ones, chosen by the goddess. It's said that once we possess the great power, the power to transcend to and from the underworld, from the area. But the elders are the only ones left of us, the only ones left. But the elders are the only ones of us left with any vestige of that power now. There was one other among us, by the name of Madalena, in whom the power was still strong, but alas, she is long gone. Above us is the council chamber of the elders. Well Ryuka, son of Madalena, and your esteemed companions. We have long known that you would come. Your father Pankras displayed us, displeased us by taking one of our own, Madalena, away from us. But you, Ryuka, are their son, innocent of these crimes. We bear no grudge against you. It is time you learned the truth now. According to the ancient scriptures, the goddess divided the world into three realms. The Nitya, the realm of the holy ones, the earthly world occupied by the humans, and Adiria, the underworld, where she sealed away demons. And she tasked 
some of the gatekeepers to prevent free passage between these realms. We are those people. The people of Lofty Peak. It is said that we of Lofty Peak were once bestowed with the power to open and close the gate between here and Adiria. But over time, our people have lost this power. No longer can we open the gates even of the Estuary Sanctuary and the Watery Corridor north of here. I feel it. Gates open more with each passing year. If it continues so, even the colossal evil of the Grandmaster of the Underworld himself will manage to transcend into our world. We must rescue my Elena once again before that happens, so that she may once again seal the gates. You are the one who must rescue our Ryuka. You, her son, have the power. The ancient power was strong in your mother. Madalena was very special. We believe it, the monsters took her in order to, to open the gates to the underworld, Iria. This room was Madalena's. I think she used to say has remained firmly in my memory. She used to say that she used to say that if light was in our heart, you could never be consumed by darkness. Here, I do not know if this will be of any use to you, but I'm sure she would have liked you to have this book. Lofty lips, lil lilts. It is a book of psalms. We of Lofty Peak read from it from an early age. Good luck. May the goddess protect you. Night Lighters. Oh, come on. Should have been something there. Oh my god, I'm getting stuck on every freaking pixel. Have I been here? Sleep. I can get that item from him. Did I get there? <laughs> ah, here we go. It's been many months now since I burned the midnight oil work and my tiredness overcame me. I'm sorry I'm sorry to have kept you waiting here. This Wilbrook Sapphire is for you. It will be unrivaled as an exhibit in the Nick Nack Nick Nakatori. I have no doubt.
Would you like a drink? Nah. Then what can I do for you? A legendary hero, huh? Just a sec. It's my dad who knows all about that. Why don't you go in and pick his brain? You want to know about the legendary hero, do you? Then... You've come to the right place. Long... Long ago. The Lord of the Underworld. Uh, something or other was resurrected and set about destroying the world but then the legendary hero with the Zenithian equipment on his side defeated him and saved us all he had four items all together the Zenithian sword the Zenithian armor the Zenithian shield and the Zenithian helm hmm? what happened to him after that some say he returned to the Zenith to Zenithia up in the sky, but I don't know if that's really what happened. It was all a long time ago, anyway, though I very much doubt he'd still be alive now. I suppose you might be able to find one of his descendants somewhere, if you were lucky. Ooh. 18 gold Where is the fine cut? Wait, what? Oh, maybe because I'm standing on. Stop taking a bit of time.
I don't think this is the right way. I know there's a locked door here. Not here, though. Use that elfin elixir. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, it has been many years now since we are having visitors. My husband and I are living here alone in this peaceful castle. Feel free to look around. You do not have to say anything. Already I am knowing. Never will I forget how my castle was saved by the brave Ryuka. Never, for all eternity. From that day, we are able to live here in the pieces. Some years ago, a young couple once lived here for a time. But they were gone long ago now. They, they are going something called Order of Zugzwang. By the way, this old piece that you have about your person, it is reminding me of the beautiful tea set we once had here in our castle, but ours was much more exquisite than that. Wait, what? I thought you were going to take it from me. Do I use it, maybe? Probably. But he was going to take it. Yeah. Was I maybe supposed to... Clean it? Yeah, maybe no.
Oh my goodness. Love it. Raise your hand. Whistle. It's gonna run though. He's back around. And he's dead. <laughs> Good job, poison needle. This time you should take it. Hopefully. <laughs> By the way, this beautiful tea set you have about your person. Ooh, I knew it. It is the Tufts tea set. We had here at our castle all those years ago. Miss Count and I would often enjoy the tea together back in the days when we were living. Can I ask you? Can I ask that you will return this tea set to me, my friend? Yeah, you will. Wonderful. Then you must have this as the reward. We can receive the crown of Uptaten. Alright. That crown has been handed over generations to show who is count of this castle. I'm no longer needing it. It is yours. Though it sucks that those young people that were staying here joined the cult. They probably are slaves now. I bet the rewards are not more useful, especially, you know, since you're getting them now.
Get away, get away. All right. I don't think I can put that on there. Where's that? Oh, there we go. Oh, it's dazzling enough already. What is upstairs? Should be able to polish this.
This can't be right. Gotta be more places, right? Is uh, dang it. it's nice and cool down here, isn't it? Yeah, right. There's a couple of rooms downstairs that even the colonel, I mean. Even old man Knickknack doesn't know about. You should see what the crack, I mean, crack is down there. Maybe he doesn't know about those rooms because he doesn't have internet. ourselves. I thought I'd take, in, take on did I take on a guard with, with the exhibit being worth a bob or two now. And we fare few visitors these days and all. Some after finding myself a receptionist too. She's a square lass, a real worker. Uh, it'll bring a breath of fresh air into the old place so it will. Oh. And there's a per there's a peculiar feel in lowering up on the top floor. But I can't very well throw him out now, can I? Not with the entrance fee being so dear and all. He most likely tell me all tell me to bug off. Stepping to report. The place doesn't feel so creepy now. There are actually few exhibits on this play, don't you think? <clears throat> Hello, Moise. Look, I have a plain carpet. I can't use it on top of a tree, apparently.
was your day? It was it? It was good. Oh, those are my kids. Ryu and Suji. But yeah, you, you don't really play with many people as you need ghosts, you know, through life. I mean, every now and then someone uh, teams up with him like Bianca did in the beginning. Then, uh, is it Harry or Henry? I think it's Harry. After they escape slavery. But then when he gets back to his kingdom, he leaves. Um, oh, and his dad in the beginning, too. But yeah, mostly you try to recruit some monsters that, um, you know, that stay with you. Yep, him and Bianca. Um, but there's two other brides, two sisters that you could choose from. Nera and I don't know the new one's name. I forgot. And the kids would have, I think the kids look the same, but they would have like purple hair or black hair instead. But yeah, um, you know, his dad was trying to find his mom, and he was trying to find the legendary hero, and his dad died, but he told his son to find the legendary hero, and that his mom is still alive. Well, the legendary hero ended up being his son. there was some kind of an amazing treasure up this tower but I can't get any higher than this I'm stuck I should just zoom out dude and try again But I'm good to um less sick. I'm still coughing, but it's less involuntary, less irritating. I've been here in the previous game. I 
think I didn't recognize it when I played the original because Dragon Quest 4 was NES game and then this one was SNES game but this is almost like rundown copy <laughs> Have you done any played up today? farming game Try some magic. It's top 11 Dragon Quest game. How are you doing, Azixa? Moist wants to join your uh, Minecraft server. He wants to pet all the animals. I saw some chickens maybe once. It's been like almost two months maybe since I watched you streamed it. So I don't remember. It 
Wow, we're so high up. Look at that. Look at that view. One of them's gonna be an evil pot. I bet you. Oh. Okay, I, I lost. Oh, come on. They don't have no pole in the game, so no penguins. But you could probably mod sheep into penguins. <laughs> or chickens. Then you could have a... Penguin... Nuggets. Spicy penguin nuggets. Maybe that's why you don't like Dragon Quest. No penguins. Ooh, insulate. Wait, why did I go down? That's what she said. By the goddess, never did I foresee that earthly people would scale the stairway to Zenithia. Many months ago, this great stairway did lead to the lofty heights of Zenithia. Yet today, it lies in ruins. The mighty castle is toppled from its exalted perch at the bottom of a lake. For shame. If you would journey thither, take the magma staff you see before you. You shall need, you shall have need of it. A use the staff. A use of the staff shall. By use of the staff shall break drugs that impede your passage. Until your cave be destroyed. That was like Spanish or something. I say it will destroy some rocks in my way or something. Camels or camel toes? It's like, uh, it's like as if, you know, Minecraft was owned by a small company. They don't have enough resources to add more animals.
Oh, this way. I think I have enough um uh, medals. What about oh I think that's it, right? Excuse me. I was gonna get one for Ryu also. It's a loss of uh, DPS, but it heals every time he hits, so uh, that's nice. Pajamas. I gotta find one more somewhere. I think I missed one. But I don't know where. I should have looked at a mini metal guide or something. I think I can save here. A save in zooming game. Also, I told the uh, uh, no, not zooming game. Well, whatever. What was I saying before this? Oh, good kid, you had too much sugar. Yay, yay. Um, what was that trying to say? The Zeniti and Castle fell in the water in the sixth game. This one. Yes, I have. Alright, let's go. Uh...
Oh, come on. I don't think uh, I'm getting combat right on the carpet. Exploring this. Yeah, it's right here. This is what I use those stuff. I like how it's on the map like a cross. Alright, let's get back to it. Is that the best? Transport. <laughs> Rika holds the Mac mustache aloft. Expecting that. What's the point of this? I mean, it's nice, but what's the point? Oh, hold on. Shit. Oh, never mind. Good. I think just telling you like like a tutorial thing. I'm a bit nervous of writing about on these cards. I suppose I'm quite excited too though. Wow, look at all those cards. How are we supposed to decide which one to get on? Ooh, chest. See my chest, see my chest. Only had 500 gold. Hey, another one. And there's another one. Who wants to fight? Very passed out. No. Maybe. Oh man, I'm going to get that thingy. I don't care. What do I get out of here? I'm gonna e back because I don't think I can go back. Go back. 
Yeah, I'm gonna go back. What? Come on, man. What does curse actually mean? Like he loses uh defense, right? Could give it to Udian. It's a dream blade. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Oh shit. Open this door right away. Ah, too bad he doesn't have church people here. Would have been the best place in the game. But rest up and save like here I have to go all the way to the back of this and get stuck on a pixel purification no that's poison divination divination Maybe a resume. I put some money away. And I'm not planning on dying for it. You never know. takes my money.
8,000 in there. Should have made a flying carpet cart game. Ah, this whole thing has a reset. Okay. There, change the points and oh, I'm completely confused. water you think it's safe to just get on these things without the grand plan that what happens if we get lost and can find our way out of here it's not safe in um, Kingsfield to get on these things with enemies trying to snipe you while you ride them for uh, instant death when she killed the liquid metal slime with the poison needle first attack do I have to ride this tank? no hey is that one guy from Dragon Quest 11? Charting everything, I'm trying to heal. Oh, 
curious what happens in that water. Nothing. Can I save with that ghost priest? Hey, there's a... Wait. Oh, you can. Nice bread. And he healed himself to full. Nice bread. And he healed himself to full. I didn't expect to find a priest in here. It was a bit of a strange one. I mean, he's only dead. Why would he be strange? I'm quite keen on these cards now. Do we have a few more ghosts on them, Dad? We'll have to bring Uncle Birdie with us next time. He'd love it here. Alright. Is Hasn't that guy been riding that thing for hundreds of years or something? Diddly, help, somebody stop this cart. Putting all his strength into it, Ryuka pushes the rusty points lever and switches the points and points break. I don't know who you are, friends, but thank the goddess, there are still good people like you in the world. Silly old me just climbed aboard that thing without so much as a should I deadly shouldn't I? And that was 20 years ago. Okay, 20 years. I should have known better. Your curiosity killed a cat. Every good citizen knows that holds some adage, don't they? Oh dearie, I'm forgetting my manners. I haven't even introduced myself. They call me Dr. Aegon. You'll probably find this a bit hard to believe, but I'm actually Zenithian, you know? Oh yes, indeed. And if 20 years on that card doesn't spoil the old Aegon intuition, I'd say that's where you're headed. Nothing like a good old-fashioned blister-rubbing trip, is there? Mind if I come along with you, friends? You all know the other old, age-old adage. There's safety in num diddly numbers. Numbers? <coughs> Excuse me. Wait a minute. It's not Dr. Aegon, it's a dragon. Zenithian dragon joins the party. I'm ready for action. Let's hit the road. I don't know, they kind of spoiled it. I mean, it's bad. 
but I think, I believe, I guessed it was a dragon. And, uh, Super Famicom version. Okay, I can get rid of it without. Oh, no. Um. Oh. Oh, like what the? I think I. Oh my. I need to change that. No one knows what this place was. A shrine built by Nimzo. A gift at the goddess, perhaps. Or a holy place created by the goddess to guide the righteous. Plenty of ar archaeologists have put people like me to work over the years, excavating the place in the hope of finding out. But it's still a mystery. Or perhaps people were just too scared to find out the truth. The truth is out there. It seems that it may have some special effect used in battle. Huh? Can you just tell me what it is? Kids seem to relax when dragons about. I wonder why. Anything else here, though? Yeah, no. See what it does. Oh, we can select. Um, yeah, well, covers HP. Do -do 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 -do. 
verschieben, aber hier... Just put the uh, money away, I already got 2,000 of it. More. <clears throat> Excuse me. I give up. Don't curse me, ladies. He's like, don't want to get cursed. Me pass. of a huge heal. Put a mid heal on that stuff. Lilu multi meal. What is that blue thing? Oh, that's just like a... Make a ramp. Oh, 
Christ. Always like it when uh, poison needles work. I think it's a way out. Yeah. More. Oh boy. All right, made it to Zintia on the world. Look, look, hang on, I can't breathe. I was sure I wouldn't be able to. But with being underwater and all. Look, did you see that the huge fish just swim past? But the old castles as waterlogged as a log full of water, huh? It'll be fun, fun, fun drying the place out. Anyway. Oh. Away with you. Boot away. Well, shoot, would you look at that? And the castles at the bottom of this lake. Practically every room is flooded. The whole shebang. I've been scratching my noggin now for a month. Of Sunday Sundays, Sundays, but I still can't figure out why the place fell out of the sky. I know. Oh, I can't go that way. Can go this way. Can I go? That's in Nitya now, huh? It's Benitia. Oh, you didn't like that one? I did. It's Subzinitia. Um, did I? Like, hmm. Yes, that's not it also. Um, there's nothing to do here, dude. I've always hated tidying my room, but I'm going to make sure I do it. 
from now on. Castles look so much better when they're kept all nice. What am I missing here? I think I'm hitting um, dead ends that I shouldn't be. Good night, Moist. Have a nice evening. Get some uh, ugly sleep. No. Beauty sleep. And enjoy your Saturday. What am I missing there? I mean, not that you need any more beauty sleep. What? Oh my god, how did I miss this door? <laughs> Just as I thought, there isn't a Zen Diddly Nitian in the whole place. Oh, bless my cotton socks. I almost forgot, there should be a secret staircase just beyond the old throne there. What is this, Dragon Quest 1? Ryuka examines the pedestal. A solitary silver orb shimmers forlornly atop it. What in the name of high diddly ho? It should be a gold orb on this pedestal, but it's as empty as a heart full of sin. And this hole, I suppose it must have opened up when that evil Nemo won a long, long ago. Of all the rotten luck, the orb, the gold orb must have fallen through it. I guess with only one orb left, the poor castle just couldn't. Well, now we know why Zenithia crashed out of the sky at least. I just wish to goddess I knew where the gold orb was. The pedestal still got a bit of the old gold orb or I about it though. Maybe with a spot of medallion, I could figure out where in the world the orb ended up. Dr. Aegon closes his eyes and starts to gather his thoughts.
Well, that's good. Now the two of them can finally sleep peacefully together. Those ghosts who took over this place were a nasty bunch, huh? But it's the monsters who came along and killed all those poor innocent people who are the most to blame. Oh, what's that? What a pretty ball. I'll bet, some, I'll bet it's some kind of reward. We should take it with us. Bianca takes a glowing gold orb and hands it to Ryuka. Hello. It's an interesting looking gem you've got there. It's a gold orb, you say? Do you mind if I have a closer look? I'm the Prince of Coburg, the next in line to the throne. I expect you. you. Want to serve me by being my lackey, do you? Well, this is what I dub entertainment. Ugh. Oi, oi, oi. I am still ordered to take some breath from this man. Ayuka, can you hear me? I must, I must tell you, your mother, she's still alive, keep, keep looking for your mo- Ugh. It is always a beautiful thing to see the parents love for the child. You do not need to concern. In dear Pankras, your beloved son will live the happy life as a slave, working until death for our great ruler. On Swan, carry away these precious children. Hey, what are we to do with the little saber cat? Let him live alone. In the wild, his savage nature will be returning at him. Wait. This small child has interesting ball about this person. Laja takes the gold orb from Ryuka. I wonder is this? Never mind. I will take care of it just in case. Laja squeezes the gold orb between his hands and mothers a chan. The orb shatters. Then let us go. Come. Holy goddess. We're done diddly. Do that. Or. The orb's been destroyed. Zenithia will never fly above the clouds again. No. Wait. A modernly moment. The ship isn't sinking that easily. If my old Nagings, not failing me, seem to remember a legend about the fairies creating the two orbs, maybe we could ask the fairy queen to work her honey do magic again and cook us up another one. You know, I've heard there is a forest somewhere in the world that leads to the realm of the fairies. I did, Leo. It's a plan, Ryuka. I'll be waiting here. You run along and see what you can do, okay? I wonder if the... Was it the Titans? Got... Overrun in that castle because of that orb. If it attracted the monsters... To their place. In a this place. So we find that gold orb, the castle will float up in the sky again. But how are we supposed to find that fairy village? So the fairies made the castle float, that's so cool. Are we going to meet some fairies? Yay, I can't wait. Yes I can... E back.
How do I get out of this? Oh, oh. That wasn't here before. Oh, this is what that is. Was it run back? No, wheel broke. It doesn't have done so. But I can go there this way. Dang it. This place must be full of memories for you and Sancho. You spent time with Grandpa here too. I don't know. I do know you know. I can breathe very well. Being here, it's very hard for some reason. We looked all over for you with Sancho, but we never came here. He said this is the one place he wanted to avoid. Hmm. What are castles that are going to sink to the bottom of the lake? Too, is it? Are we going to meet fairies? I'd love it if we really did. Fairies in storybooks have wings, and they always like playing tricks on people too. I wonder if they really like that. That's it. Oh no. Hey, there's a building. Let me. Wait, wait, wait. Loot. Where it disappears. This is the Nemerglade, said to be the gateway to the realm of the fairies. But isn't but this isn't a forest for normal folk. We get lost. Unless you can see fairies, of course, that would be a different matter altogether. I saw a fairy once when I was a little girl, but that was a long time ago now.
solo Ochoa. There's someone over by that bonfire, Dad. Ah. Wait. Who are you? Do you... Do you... Do you mean you can see me? Of course I can see you. Oh well. What do you want anyway? We want to get to Fairy Leaf. In the realm of the fairies. Hmm. Okay. You look kind of sweet, I suppose. I'll take you there. Follow me. It's this way, she said that. Come on. I teleport here. We enter. How can I teleport? Oh yeah, I guess uh, Ryuka can't see fairies anymore because he's old. Stinking ticket. Actually, wasn't there a nun at the abbey that was talking about fairies? Oops, I'm trying to cast one carpet. 
Nope. Didn't work. Here and here. There we go. Wait, why is he... Why is he less in the game? What? It's not going to work anyway. Oh. Well, now it's not going to work. Can you attack someone else? That guy has double buff or something. Oh, oops. There we go. What, they have the same health?
have no icons. How you're the humans I showed to La Fairy Lee before. I expect you want to meet with Trickle again, don't you? Just go through the teleporter in the shrine over there. The leaves are still in the lake for you to walk over. This is Fairy Lee. Trickles in charge of everything here. Yeah. What? A gold orb? I don't know. You better ask Trickle about that. Ah, let me see now. Yes. I'd say it's been about 20 years since the last human visitor came to Fairy Lee. What? It was you? Well, slap me around the face with a metal kink slime. Wow, Goomans. The last time Goomans came here was ages ago. Hey, have you been north yet? The old dwarves made a super squishy playground there. And gold, that's pretty cheap. I should come here all the time. I mean, all the slime. Welcome to Fairy Lee's library. I'm sure, but Bay. Do I understand you're looking for the Fairy Palace? Well, the Fairy Palace is normally invisible to humans. But if you blow the Fairy Horn when you're near it, you should be able to see it too. You must find a lake in the middle of a dense forest surrounded by mountains. That's where you need to blow the horn. I mean, there's a book or two that I couldn't read when he was little. From the mouths of trees. Trees are living beings. They feel the breeze in their leaves, the ground with their roots, and they touch the sky with their uppermost branches. They feel more strongly than any other beings when change takes place in the world. And it is they with their mighty trunks would tell the tales of all that has passed from the mouths of trees. Wait, this is the same. I don't have the same book. I'm just depressed about it too. The life of humans. The human is a creature that ages significantly faster than we fairy kind. It's not unknown for humans to change so quickly that even if two parties have met relatively recently, they do not recognize one another. 
This is just one example of the hurried and busy lives humans lead. A world apart from our tranquil fairy ways. Okay, okay, let's go. I know it's you, Ryuka. You can't fool me. Wow, it's been ages, hasn't it? If you want to know how to find Queen Caramel, you should speak to Sherbet downstairs in the library. Good luck, Ryuka. Syrup of Fix, Ryuka. It's been so many years. You did such. You did such a lot for us then. We're still in your debt. Is there something I can do to help you? Yeah. Ryuka explains the situation. I see. It seems that at last the time has come when I can fulfill the promise I made and repay you. I will give you this horn, Ryuka. With it, you will be able to call upon the aid of our queen. Queen Caramel. It's all connected, see? You help someone in the past and now they help you. But she wasn't the queen then. So when we blow this horn, we get to meet the queen. Will you let me blow it there, please? Alright. Let me save here. Are you kidding me? Isn't there like... There we go. Oh dang it, why do I have Sancho? I mean, I know why I have a little bit of Dang it. So being here makes me feel all happy. I want to skip about the place. What do you suppose the fairy palace is? I can't see any lake surrounded by mountains around here. Can we stay here a bit longer, Dad? 
Not many people get the chance to come to the realm of the fairies. I am getting some good rolls. is actually good. Shield. I think these are weak to swoosh. Stop that. Oh my god, stop dancing. this Um... 
I think I'll get a boy. I need four. Don't give me four. Yes. I think that's right. Usually there's a treasure thing. Oh, okay. There we go. Happy hat. And a miracle sword. But I already... That what? <laughs> this feels like cheating now. Try. When the Winter Palace melted, melted to nothing, it left a big hole in the earth behind. It fell in. It fell in it by accident and couldn't get out. So I decided to make this TNT board to pass the time. After the Winter Queen passed and the Winter Palace disappeared, something very unusual took its place. Sure, why not?
Magic water, perfect. I'm gonna see what he says. Uh, Chu, you're Yuka, aren't you? Don't say you've forgotten Dwight, the White Dwarf. Oh, so you've 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 been traveling the world since then, have you? Ever since you've eaten, I've been living here as a law-abiding citizen. I know. I'll join your party and go traveling with you. Well, could I be like one of your monsters? What do you say? Sure. Yes, the White Dwarf reigns supreme. Oh, nice. I'm gonna kick him. <clears throat> I didn't know... Uh... Could happen. Oh, he went to the wagon. You're a funny gooman, having Dwight in your party. But his granddad would go all gooey knowing that you'd become good friends with his grandson. Oh, for a second I thought it was a liquid metal song. This happens in it always sorts them differently when you enter a friendly town or something. Okay, you missed the one. What is a uh, Gurian's defense? Yeah, I could actually put him in front. Thank you. 
You made friends with a fairy once, didn't you, Dad? I wonder if I'll make any fairy friends. Get it explored a little bit more here. Yeah. Is it over there? I think it is. Some muddy hands. Come on. <laughs> oh my God, white. Is it? Who has it? Even select an item. Oh. Welcome to the Fairy Palace. Dun, 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 dun. It's not a secret, I suppose I can tell. Bianca's the descendant of a Zenithian. 
The blood of the Lothinians runs through your veins, Ryuka. A legendary hero was born of your Lothinian and Bianca Zenithian blood. All part of the goddess's sweet recipe of life. Queen Caramel would like to speak with you first, Ryuka. We know, we know. We know the legendary hero's already been born. May the goddess send sweet sugar plum blessings down on Ryu. Welcome, I've been expecting you. Trico said you would be coming. I am Queen Caramel. You wish to know about the two orbs in Zenithia? Yes, we fairies crafted them, but that was then. We don't have that power anymore. Look, Queen Caramel produces a gold bobble. You see, we've already tried to make an orb. I know it looks like an orb, but this bobble doesn't have the power to hold Zenithia in the heavens. But you, Ryuka, maybe you do. So I'm giving you this gold bobble. Now, go up the stairs at the back and hurry. The fairy there will tell you what to do. But I can even run. There's no run button. Shh, don't say anything. I'm not really a cat. I'm a magician. I'm studying the fairies here. Disguising myself like this was the only way I could get in here. Don't give me away. And? I know something you don't. I know something you don't. But okay, I'll tell you. The picture in the upstairs room on the east side of the palace gets changed every now and then. But it's only just been changed for a picture to celebrate the birth of the legendary hero. So it probably won't be changed again for a while. You may pass. I'm writing a complete history of the entire world. It's a very valuable record, you know? That's why I'm using the ink of an ivory tusk tusk. It never fades, you see. These are fairies' treasures. Everyone loves treasures, don't they? But boo-hoo, they will bring about peace. You can have them if you want. A lightning staff, I like. And princess's robe. Thank you. Do -do 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 -do. Anything to read here? It's an ancient collection of paintings. Ryuka takes it from the shelf and has a closer look. One of the paintings has the following note. Some pictures manage to portray the very soul of the person who painted them. I hope that this is one such picture. Is the picture they talking about? This is a special picture. It shows what's in the heart of whoever looks at it. You must bring the gold ball that Queen Caramel made for you. And it must be in your hands, Ryuka.
It ain't a bug. I wonder why you have to be holding it that. I don't get it. I thought that thing was supposed to be useless anyhow. It's because you haven't played the beginning of the game, sheesh. This picture was painted to celebrate the birth of the legendary hero. Ryuka stands before the picture on the wall and opens his heart. Over to the past. Have you heard the news? Apparently Pankras is young lad. One of ghost hunting, of all things. That boy will grow up to be fine fighter at this rate, I'd say. Hola. Have we met before, senor? Ah, you are one of senor Pancras's amigos, see? If you are looking for him, he is upstairs now. Hmm, do I know you? Is there something you wanting to discuss? Sure. What did you say? You're my son? Yeah. <laughs> I only have one son, and that's my boy, Ryuka. Was there something else? Hmm. I shouldn't go to Coburg, you say? Well, you've certain... You've certainly... Done your homework, you know. I've been summoned there, at any rate. Oh, I see. You're some kind of prophet, are you? Sorry, but I don't believe in that sort of thing. Your eyes really remind me of my wife's eyes, you know? I suppose it wouldn't hurt for me to be... Excuse me. I suppose it wouldn't hurt for me to at least bear your advice in mind. Well, if that's all. I'm rather busy at the moment, so if you could excuse me. Okay. Freezing. It's supposed to be summer before long. I don't get why it's so cold. Oh, you must be the one who the sister in church was talking about. What? You want to look at my gold ore? Yeah. Well, I suppose that's okay. You don't look like a bad sort. But you have to give it back in one second, okay? Ryuka hands the gold orb to Ryuka. Switch the orb with the gold bowl. Rika switches the gold over. It's pretty amazing, don't you think? Yeah. I won't give up, no matter how hard it gets. Just like you say. Come on, Saber.
Oh, what a splendid looking fella. Oh dear, listen to me saying things like that. We don't have much to offer here in Wilbrook, but you just make yourself at home and enjoy your stay, lad. I think she wants to date. My poor plants are really suffering here with this cold. I'm at my wit's end, I am. This here is Wilbrook. We only ever get nice and friendly for visiting our village. Except for the soldiers that will destroy it. Are you okay, Dad? He just wouldn't move or anything. Like, you were unconscious. We were really worried. Are you okay? It's, it's no time for siesta now, you know? It's good to have you back, Dad. It's okay. You don't have to explain a thing. You may pass. We fairies don't have the power to alter the passage of time. But the picture welcomed you, Ryuka. You must have that power. Go oh, now. The time has come. Return the gold orb to its rightful place. That doesn't put the willy in G willy curse. You found me an orb. I'll just pop it up here on the pedestal and this should go diddly who diddly it. Follow me. It's finally time. Denethia is going airborne again. Stand by for takeoff, passengers. And it's all thanks to you and your party, Ryuka. Take a good look, friends. Back in the clouds where it belongs. Well, that didn't get us up quite as on high as I was expecting. But you know what they say, grumblings a grievance of the devil. Mind if I leave things up to you for a while. Now the waters drain away, I'm off to do a tour of the castle and make sure everything's 
Oakley Doakley do. See you later. Prestigi Digitator. Ooh, I can go over mountains. How do I get back and... Okay. I wonder if this place will ever be as grand as it used to be before it fell out of sky. I'd love to see it brought back to its former, former glory. By the grace of the goddess, many of my fellows in Etian survived the flooding. You can beat a big, you can beat a bit of clock stopping hibernation to get you out of a drop of the old hot water. I'm so happy to see my old friends. I've counted way past seventh heaven on cloud nine. But. How long has it been since we did gaze down upon the world from our heavenly domain? Lo, if thou wouldst have us descend, thou canst do so at the touch of a button. The A button, B button, or the X button. But have, have a care, the terrain must be flat should you wish Zenithia to descend. We must find plains or desert or some such similar surfaces. Thank you. This is a present for you. Help yourself to some Yggdrasil dew. them anymore. I don't think I can get anything useful. Behold, my sapling of the great world tree, Yggdrasil, still lives. Zenithia is saved thanks to your good shelves. Good selves. <laughs> hey, take this as a gift. It's not sure what I'm going to do with it. Maybe put it in the museum? Long have we waited this day. Pretty, hasten and tell the old man in the rearward chamber the glad tidings. What? Zenithia has taken to the skies again? That's wonderful news. Now we just need to bring about the resurrection of the Zenith Dragon and everything will be back on track. The powers of the Zenith Dragon are said to be sealed in a place called Talon Tower, on an island to the west of Helmunaptra. You can have what's in that chest of drawers over there to take with you. It might come in useful, you know. Grappling up. Is it gonna be a Batman now? Where's the utility bow? Um. When peace still reigned over the world, the Zenith Dragon did look down over his earthly dominion and speak to us thus. Humans are a noble breed, and with these words, he did vanish and conceal himself. Alack, 
Who would have foretold the demise of Zenithia centuries later? That it should crash so to the ground. Were it not for such a trustful pass, had Zenithia remained aloft, the world might still now know peace. Ah, uh, sure, why not? Been a while anyway, since I saved. Nothing else here. What is this? Oh, okay. I know what it is. Yeah, I think I. Oh, wait. I think I have to play a room. Hail friends, we are saved. The Nidia is saved by your mercy. What words could justly express our gratitude? What does thou say? A Zenithian called Dr. Aegon? But there is no such Zenithian by such a name, my friends. Heavenly stars, it's full of myths and legends, all about the stars. There's a rather dark your diary that looks to have been written by a Zenithian. Rika takes it from the shelf and has a closer look. To have violated the sacred oath, to descend to the world below, alack. Howsoever shall the Zenith dragon forgive, the pages that follow are to warn the read. place now. Go to... Do, do, do they have a... Uh... Okay, hold on. I put my money away real quick. And some monsters while I'm at it. 
I don't know if Dwight counts as a monster. Oops, I didn't change my mind. Just... It's a very attractive town, you know, think, see, Dakota should look like this. We never came here with Sancho when we were looking for you, Dad. Really? This is the town where you and Mom got married? How exciting. Dear Ryuka, it feels like years and years since last I saw you. We're always talking about you though. You made a big impression back then. Oh yes. I should introduce you, shouldn't I? This is my wife, Nera. It's wonderful to see you again after all this time, Ryuka. How are you? It's really thanks to you that Crispin and I fell in love. In the first place, you know. We're so happy together. Everything's just perfect, except... Except Nero's father, Mr. Briscoletti. He seems a bit off just recently. He's always on edge. He never seems to be able to relax anymore. Would you mind talking to him? I'm sure he'd open up to you. He always really liked you. Yes, would you mind? As a favor, favor to us. Perhaps you could find out what it is that's bothering him and maybe help him get over it. Okay. What about, uh, Deborah? Did she get married? Welcome to Briscoity Residence of Evil. Ryuka. You've come back to visit us. How wonderful it is to see you. The goddess has been watching over us all. But there is one thing you could help me with, Ryuka. My husband has been behaving very oddly ever since he spoke to a traveling merchant who came to town a few days ago. But he just won't tell me what's bothering him. I'm starting to worry about him. She's still single. Well, well, Ryuka, isn't it? Pardon? You thought I'd be married by now because Nero's been a fool to and accepted the flake of a man? A husband would just get under my feet. Like you are at the moment, really. Do you mind? Hey, what's up, Beth? How are you doing? Holy Rigatoni, Ryuka, the old scaramouge. 
When did you get back? Never mind. There will be plenty of time for all that baloney later. Right now, I need you to do me a favor. I can rely on you, I presume. Sure. There's a small island to the west of Stock and Barrow. That's the village just north of here, if you... Are you listening? So anyway. On that small island to the west of Stock and Barrow, there's an equally small shrine. Inside the shrine is an old jar. That's all. Just that one small jar. I need you to go there and give me a bulletin on what color the jar is. I realize, realize the request might sound a little cavalier, but it's really very important. And if the jar's red, don't waste any time getting back here. Capiche? You must hurry. I just hope this has all been a terrible misunderstanding. Nine days? Is that even legal? You're not striking, are you? Please, Ryuka, sir. I couldn't help overhearing Mr. Briscoletti talking to himself before. He said something about a jar and that if it was glowing red, some monster or other would come back to life. He was standing by the bookshelf in the living room. It sounded like he was reading some old diary or the like. You'll help him though, won't you, Ryuka? Kinda of weird you get days of before Christmas, not during Christmas. trying to get here before but it was closed I'm guessing it's open now or maybe I have the key viral case uh oh it's red if it's red you're dead As a jar glowing rather eerily red, Yuga examines it. It's a very unsettling experience. Rika, have you seen Mr. Briscoletti? Been away he's been waiting for you at La Guardia. I'm gonna get uh, my Guardia kicked. I remember this being a hard boss. Ah, you're here at last, Ryuka. I see. The jar was red, was it? You need not to be a fortune teller to know. But from the expression on your face, I'm afraid that confirms 
my worst fears. We have very little time. And come. Oh shh. The gargantuan beast within the jar is about to come back to life. 150 years ago, my great 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 grandfather. In other words, one of my revered ancestors sealed it away in the jar, like meat inside ravioli. But the seal is about to break, the pasta is about to burst open, and the beast will no doubt embark on a vendetta. He will be after blood, my blood. After that, you can be sure he will turn his fur fury on Mostro Ferrato. I must return home and make preparations for battle. I need you to remain on watch here until I return, Ryuka. That was a good nap. Bjorn feels much better. No, where is Rodolfo? No, Ven hides from me. Ooh. Well, I suppose I could use you as an appetizer. Damn. Um... Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, I don't have the right party. <laughs> I'm gonna lose this one, I think. We'll see how it goes. <clears throat> Stop it.
Oh shit, I forgot to sap him. Spamming Kabov with Sancho every turn. Just one turn this time. Well, it seems like my oomph worn out. Wait, what? Didn't I? I thought I healed Sancho.
Get him. <clears throat> Ouch. All right. Why am I all the way out here? into the sound. Okay. That's good. Let's try this again. Hopefully this will go better this time with the right party member. Probably not. But I do have more heals. Sweeper.
Nice. The floor is being pretty mild. Yeah, what is, <laughs> do I have something on him that's reflecting? Or did he cast something? I can't heal him. Maybe when I use the shield, that's what's happening.
wonder if we can be dazzled. Should stop reflecting. Okay. Good, good, good. There we go. That was much better. <clears throat> Amazing, amazing, beyond the behemoth traps, the ultimate key. Damn. Nice. Tutti frutti, tutti frutti. Just as I finish getting ready, the battle is finito. You defeated the beast already. Fine work, Ryuka. Tutti frutti, neat. I like you more and more. You're right, young Ragazzo. You and your family will do well on your quest, I've no doubt. And my best wishes go with you. Uh, can I get all your money? Thank you, Rika, for helping us. It's such a relief to see Mr. Briscoletti looking cheerful again. And it's great that people in town didn't have to suffer 
Most of them hardly know anything about what happened. You mean they didn't notice this... Four story big creature next door? I see, so the monsters were sealed away 150 years ago. I suppose that the monster itself, it probably felt like just a few days had passed or something. So it wouldn't have realized that Mr. Briscoletti's great, 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 um, how many greats was that? Well, anyway, he wouldn't have realized that Mr. Briscoletti's forefather, Rodolfo, passed away years and years ago. Excuse me. <clears throat> how long do they live that he has, like, great, 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 grandfather only 150 years ago thank you for helping my father and for saving the town I'll pray for you all and the goddess watches over you as you go on your way peasants <laughs> Seriously, he was taller than the tower, twice as wide, and it's next door. There's a lot of laughter coming from Briscoletti residents now. Looks like whatever the problem was has been cleared up now. That's good news. Oh, let me talk to that stuck-up chick. She says anything. You're still under my foot. What is it now? Do you want something or not? Sure. Wasn't I bothered by all the commotion outside? As far as I can see, it was nothing. I don't know what in the world everyone was so hepped up about. If you don't want anything, then don't bother me with your whining voice. You're the one whining. I don't know if she's the best mage in the game, probably. She's so annoying. Who would marry her? It's wonderful that you've managed to have children of your own. Can I tell you something, Ryuka? Just having children doesn't make you parent, you know? We learn from our little ones, and bit by bit we developed into true parents. There's no need for you to worry though. I have no doubt you'll make a wonderful father. I mean, I got stoned for eight years. To cope with fatherhood. <laughs> Welcome to Mostro Ferrado, ancient stronghold of the Briscoletti family. Could save just in case. I don't want to fight him again. I got the ultimate key. I can go to here. There's a treasure down here. Apparently, no one knows about it. I don't know how. I won't mention. Like, there's a hidden treasure somewhere down here. No one can find it. Like, don't you see the stairway down and the treasures behind us? 
gate. There's a treasure, well, treasure. I guess there's a treasure behind the door. I can't see inside. Somewhere over here. There we go. Street treasures. Ooh, nice. Player rank. Uh, robust lingerie. What is this? Uh, Robin Hood. Men in tights. The robust lingerie appears to be some kind of protective garb. It doesn't seem as if it would do anything special if it used as an item during battle. It doesn't appear to be a single member of the party who can be equipped with it though. Oh man. I guess uh, Suji is too young for that. It's been a long time since I've seen it, but it's funny. I watched the Kevin Costner Robin Hood a few years ago, because I remember it being a serious movie, but I rewatched it and it's like a comedy. gonna keep me locked up in here huh what you're letting me out gee thanks pal <laughs> oh yeah check out that stool over there think of it as a mini reward for helping me out I can't live or I'm gonna cough I've been locked up in here for 10 years now you're the first bloke who's bothered to say anything to me at all all the time. I ain't got nothing to give you, but I can tell you something that will keep you out of trouble. The slot machine that's second from the left in the back row of the casino. The one what pays out the most is the one that pays out the most, I guess. Oh, there's nothing here. Just the one. Oh, that's a... Yeah, the mound looks good too. I mean, the Kevin Costner one is kind of serious, but there's a lot of comedy in it.
<laughs> what happens if I fall down here? I can't? Oh man. I think I can put the castle next to my castle. I mean, I can put it here. Wait, what do you mean I can't land there? There we go. This is the closest I can land it to. I'm gonna land it close to um uh you know what? Let me explore the gray areas. And then I'll land it. I land in the desert. Sounds like the basic travel is a magic flying carpet. They should have made a huge flying carpet and put it under the castle. So this is the next destination, the tower. I don't think there's much left. I think that tower... Maybe some minor stuff? Then... This thing... I believe. And then a whole new map for the dark world. Or whatever. And I'm not sh I'm, I'm. I think there's a post game that they added, but I'm not sure how long that is. Oh, I can. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, it used to be higher in the sky, this castle. I mean, as it is in Dragon Quest 6 and 4. But it fell to Earth. And now it's levitating. As it was, but it can go up above anywhere. Four hours and then some. Oh, yeah. Should be. I might be done tomorrow. Well, maybe with the base game. That's gonna be it for me. 
Getting tired. 6 a.m. But uh, thank you everyone for hanging out. Thank you, Ev, for stopping by. Enjoy your uh, vacation. No, I gotta go to work in five, six hours. I gotta get some nap. But yeah, who else was here? Moist, uh, Zixa, thank you for a hundred bits. Arma. Irvin, thank you for hanging out. Everyone lurking, I appreciate it. I'll be back tomorrow night with more Dragon Quest V. And... Yeah, I don't think there's much left. I know that tower, then... The tower in the north. And then I get into a new map. And this has like, three towns. I don't know. I think it has a post game. I just don't know what it involves. I never did any post games. But I'm gonna raid Kaze who's playing uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Uh, which is fun. I think the Mystery Game, Mystery Dungeon games are pretty fun. But yeah, you guys have a nice Saturday. Enjoy your weekend. Take care and uh, goodbye.